Crimea was the starting point, and Crimea will be the finishing point. Volodymyr Zelensky uttered these remarks in 2022 when addressing his country's resistance against Russia's most recent war of conquest. Retaking the peninsula that is currently controlled by forces from Moscow is possibly Kyiv's most ambitious war goal. Crimea reaches into the Black Sea and surrounds one side of the Sea of Azov. The historic peninsula is an important piece of the regional strategic puzzle and the key to safeguarding rich commercial shipping lanes. Nevertheless, Ukraine will have to battle hard for such an honor. In order for Ukraine to achieve its objective, it is crossing Putin's red line with its operations on the peninsula. In order to gain a better understanding of these activities, let's go back to the beginning of the work week on the Pearl of the Black Sea. The region of Crimea rumbled with explosions. According to a video that was distributed across several social media platforms, Explosions that were created by unmanned aerial vehicles, which are essential for operations that take place across borders, puncture the darkness of the sky. The most recent attack against Kyiv was carried out in Sevastopol. The explosion seen in the video appears to have occurred above the port of Sevastopol. The Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Navy was located near Sevastopol, and Ukraine used unmanned aerial vehicles to attack it. Moscow provided support for Sevastopol. A statement was issued on Governor Michael Rezvahayev's Telegraph Channel, indicating that an attempt was made to attack Sevastopol as early as 3.30 a.m. in the morning. According to Michael Rezvahayev, the drones were destroyed on the outer roadside in a sheltered area outside the port. The official said that one of the drones was destroyed and the others exploded. These explosions had no effect on any of the surrounding objects. Rezvahayev added that the city is quiet at the moment but that all of the forces and services are ready for fight. A Telegraph user commented on Rezwa Hive's statement by noting that there were reports of damage to the peninsula as a result of explosions. The social media user made reference to photographs that were shared by the local news station showing smashed windows. According to the accusations made by the local news channel, the windows of some beach villas were broken and the buildings were damaged as a result of the drone strike. Residents of Sevastopol have voiced alarm at the recent spate of drone attacks that have taken place in their city. Nevertheless, some residents of the area have stated that they are accustomed to the explosions that these attacks cause. According to Elena Kudriko, when drones attack, of course, it wakes you up since there is no place where you can sleep comfortably because the home shakes and you worry about your children and other people. Olga Lachakova a local resident, stated that her community has become accustomed to the continuous noise and military drills and that they scarcely even notice them anymore. In addition, there was no instant reply from Ukraine over the blast. Public admission of responsibility for acts carried out in Russia or on Russian-controlled territory in Ukraine has nearly never been made by Kyiv. It was announced by the Russian Ministry of Defense that the Ukrainian attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet with the drones in Sevastopol violated the guarantees and put in jeopardy the extension of the Black Sea Grain Agreement. In the written statement made by the ministry, it was reminded that Russia suspended the agreement on the export of grain products from Ukrainian ports because Ukraine attacked the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Following the statement this morning, Russia suspended the agreement on the export of grain products from Ukrainian ports. Recent satellite photographs show Russia constructing a network of defense lines in Crimea and digging trenches along the beaches of the peninsula. The political significance of Crimea for Vladimir Putin means that Russian forces and friendly local populations might be anticipated to make a vigorous defense there in another development. In addition, Crimea's unique geographical obstacles pose numerous perils to attackers. Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, who retired as the commander of the United States Army in Europe, envisioned three phases in which the Ukrainian troops could capture Crimea, beginning with the long-awaited spring counteroffensive of Ukraine. He said that he thought Kyiv had never perfect intelligence on what was going on in Crimea. He stated that Kyiv cannot ensure the security of commercial maritime transport in the Black Sea unless it liberates the peninsula. Even the major ports of Odessa and Mykolaiv, both of which are firmly under Ukrainian control, will continue to be noted that there are various ways in which Ukrainians think about this. He said that Ukrainians know the geography, history, and weather conditions of the area. So, in light of what Hodges mentioned, what steps can Kyiv do to lessen the danger posed by Russia in Crimea? Hodges emphasized that the peninsula needs to be separated from the mainland initially. 
By severing the land connection, Crimea can be cut off from the rest of the world. Moscow's greatest achievement in more than a year of conflict is the land bridge, spanning from the southwestern Russian border west of Rostov on Don to seize the Natsik, Mariupol, Bardiansk, Melitopol, and the Dnipro River. The corridor enables Russia to better control its borders with Ukraine. The supply of the Crimean Peninsula, which is dependent on the Kerch Strait Bridge until February 2022, which is encircled with shipping, could be put in jeopardy by the Ukrainian journey south from Zaporizhia and east of Kherson. If Ukrainian forces are able to reach the threshold of Crimea, many of the peninsula's most sensitive military and infrastructure targets will be within range. It has been demonstrated that Ukrainian forces are proficient in the use of both domestic technology and long-range munitions produced in the West in order to target Russian command headquarters, troops concentrations, and supply centers. Crimea has a variety of targets, two of which have already been targeted, namely the Sevastopol Naval Base and Siki Air Base. Hodges placed a strong emphasis on the fact that significant bases should be bombed during the second phase of the operation. According to Hodges, the addition of more Western weapons might provide Ukraine with the advantage it requires to do things that are currently created in the United States. There are high-motion artillery rocket systems in Kyiv that are armed with guided multiple launch rocket systems. These munitions have a range of 90 kilometers. Despite the repeated requests from the Ukraine, these weapons have not been provided. The White House and Washington declined to furnish the most extensive range of high Mars munitions. According to Hodges, if the Ukrainians possessed attack homes, for instance, the Black Sea Fleet would have been forced to evacuate Sevastopol a long time ago. Alternatively, they would have hit it a long time ago. It would also be impossible to battle on the peninsula. In 2014, the Ukrainian-born population in Crimea was more pro-Russian than in the rest of the country, as evidenced by the election and referendum results. It is believed that thousands of Ukrainian soldiers and officials fled when Russian troops captured the peninsula, allowing Russia to move forward with almost a decade of integration with Russia and uninterrupted ideological conditioning. It is possible that Ukrainian troops will have to interact with the local populace. He argued that the loss of Crimea could precipitate the end of the wider war, which has been raging in varying intensities for more than nine years. In summary, the Ukrainian leadership keeps the location of its impending counterattack a secret. The eastern part of Kursen is a likely location as it offers the shortest route to the Crimea. Hodges said that you need to go there, clean it up, and occupy it. He stated that this is not an easy task, but that Kyiv can.